Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today is going to be what I'm going to call a budget reset and that's because um, <clears throat> it's been a while since I've been budgeting, even in my, just personally in my life. Um, so I'm going to use the month of June as a budget reset and if you want to see how I'm going to do that, stay tuned. First going to do is go ahead and open my notebook. One of my friends gave me this notebook. I'm not sure where it's from. She had it and then <laughs> decided she wasn't going to use it, so she actually wanted it. And of course, I said yes. So here we are. Okay. So I'm borrowing my roommate's ruler because I don't have all of my stuff. Um, my desk is much smaller. Uh, then my oldest, um, I currently have a loft bed, but I plan on changing that because I do not like the loft bed like I thought I was going to like it. Um, so there's that. But anyways, okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to create lines. Okay, I'm going to create lines. And then... I'm gonna speed through this part because it's gonna take me a minute because it's been a while and I'm doing it like this because I just want to get back to paper and um yeah I just want to get back to paper I don't mind my digital planner which I'm probably still going to use on the side by myself so, so I can create a routine again with it but for filming purposes I'm going to do paper uh, I'm not going to buy stickers right now in order to save money um and yeah that's kind of it I'm just going to use this draw lines like I used to do from scratch this is our reset um, I'm gonna try to do everything at bare minimum except my bills um, and then yeah and then we're gonna progress from there and perfectly get back to digital planning sometime in the future uh, but right now we're just gonna start back from basics and what that's gonna look like is pen paper rulers color markers <laughs> um, but yeah so I'm going to speak to this part. Thank you. 
now that I've drawn my lines and I kind of put my titles, actually, I forgot a title to put. You probably can't see it, so I'm going to zoom in really quickly. I know it's such a light color, but at the same time, I really want to look at my planner and be happy with it, so. There you go. should be able to see that um so now we have income and put june budget and then put the year in the corner just so when i come back and look at this book i know um so now what we're gonna do is for our income, we're gonna write out our income names. I won't put the amounts on camera. That will be something I would do off camera. Um, just because, yeah, <laughs> I just wanna put it off camera. Um, just something I wanna kinda keep to myself and things like that. For the time being, I don't know if it's always gonna be like that. I might change it in the future, but right now, I'm just not going to put it on camera. I'm just keep that to myself. Um, but I will put my sources of income. Just not the amounts. Okay, so the first one, um, I work for my church as an administrator. Um, my church is called City of Angels International Christian Church. Um, worldwide, we're just the International Christian Church. So um, that's where my first, well, in a sense, my first source of income comes from. Um, my second source, which is technically my first one, but I'd rather put the taxable one up front first. Um, it is SSDI, which is Social Security Disability Income. I do have an autoimmune disorder, which does make it hard for me to work. So working for my church is, is good because I get to work from home, which really helps. Um, so that when I'm feeling tired or for like extra fatigued or whatever the case is it's just it's easier to like lay down also a lot of people in my church understand how, like how sick i am so like the administrators are much more um lenient with me if, if that's the word to use or much more uh understanding so like when i can't do things you know like they jump in and help or they see if like other people can do them or like i get a little bit longer of a deadline sometime because uh, it's random when i feel like that so yeah <laughs> Um, I'm gonna put Instacart. I don't really do it often. Like, we just had missions and I needed to raise 300, which income wise, I just don't have that to give. So, that's that, which is non taxable. Um, or we consider because it it's all giving. So, um, and then miscellaneous. It's another non taxable item or uh, items. Like, if I get gift cards or, um, money or like just something like my mom gives me money my brother gives me money sometime and things like that obviously there's holidays and whatnot um and other things um but i'm gonna leave it at that um so those are my sources of income um sorry do you kind of want to do this for show I'm not writing the amounts but putting the dollar signs <laughs> so, but how are you guys i know it's been such a long time been on here um i was much more accountable when i was doing my videos um not that i probably always stuck to what my budget was but i was more consistent with doing them and i was i was getting to a point where everything was consistent i was better at managing i was better at uh, keeping to the budget i set um so yeah i just thought i'd get back to this get back to that level of accountability um and whatnot I don't know if any of you know, but I did move out of my mom's house, so therefore, <laughs> um, I have more expenses um, and whatnot. If you've been here since the beginning, you know, like, I pay my portion of rent, but I always write the total because my mom would give me her portion, and it will come out of my account, so it only made sense. Um, but here, uh, we're going to put my rent. I have two other roommates and we do renter insurance. Not too expensive. Um, 
Then I put Spectrum. I pay mostly everything to my roommate who's over the finances uh, with Zelle or Venmo. So I don't necessarily have like, you know, but um, at the same time, um, sorry, uh, at the same time, um, I still put the exact amount, I don't know how to explain it, but what my portion of the amount, so. We don't have gas here, so I'm running electric, um, because everything's electric and we're on a stove, so we don't have gas, which I guess is great. Um, but I guess some kind of electric could be a little expensive. I mean, so far it hasn't. I always budget 100 So far it hasn't gone over that, which is great. Um, but, you know. Okay, then we're going to put at and T. I I look that weird. Uh, we're going to put car insurance. And then we're going to put car payment. And then I have a blank line. Just... Because um, I really want to make sure that um, if I'm missing a bill, that's like more fixed as far as set price. I mean, technically my electric bill is not set price, but it's a, it's a for sure an expense I know that's coming every single month. I mean, subscriptions are too, but sometimes I delete them, I don't pull them and delete them. Whereas these are things that I absolutely need, like I need internet, I need my phone, I need my car insurance, I need my, I need my car. Uh, I live in Orange County now instead of LA County, so like it's it's a little different for me, and I don't understand like certain things. But also like I just sometimes have to go far uh, for meetings, so like I, I have to have a car. Um, so yeah, these are for me fixed items. I know everyone's fixed items are different, or definition of fixed expense is different. But for me, a fixed expense is something that is going to be every single month, and you need it every single month like a subscription I don't need every single month I can honestly cancel it and be fine and find like an alternative but like there's no alternative to my rent rent insurance spectrum electric at and you know like none of those things um I'm, maybe there are but you know like obviously rent could be mortgage but I don't own a home I'm, I'm renting right now so this you know um unless I just switch internets but internet will always be on this side Obviously, there could be other forms of way you can get energy, but energy is always going to be on the side and so on. So, um, yeah. I hope I explained that good. <laughs> um, I am going to write my, my amounts for my fixed and variable expenses. So, I guess we can do that now, huh? Okay. Grab my calculator so that we can... Uh, oh my gosh, I just realized you guys have not fully been framed this whole time. Sorry guys, I just realized you had not been in frame that whole time I was speaking and writing. I am so sorry. Um, but <laughs> here you are. Uh, so again, uh, these are just my fixed expenses. I wrote right here and it's a dollar sign. So I'm going to write the amounts. I do write in pencil for that. I mean, I have it in the past, uh, but then <laughs> I can I can mess up and then I have to do everything all over again. And I don't want to do that. So uh, hopefully you can see the pencil. I will try to write as hard as I can. You are pretty zoomed in. Um, I am filming on my phone too, so that's the thing. Um, I have my calculator here to the side. I don't think that's in frame, but it's fine. Oh. Um, so for my rent, I put $528.75. My rent actually was $529.08, I believe. I can't check because I am filming on my phone, so uh, I'm not able to see it. But I mean, I can calculate it. Hold on. Oh, it's a four ninety five seventy five plus thirty three thirty three. Yeah, five twenty nine. See, I already my sale. <laughs> five twenty nine oh eight. Oh, okay, you guys can see that. <laughs> um, and then my renters insurance for the month is. Typically always two dollars and fourteen cents. Um, spectrum did go up this month, 
which is still lower than what I was paying actually in February, March, which was 90 in this month. Well, yeah, <laughs> this month I'm only paying 30. Um, now what I paid in February, March had nothing to do with the current household I'm in. Uh, the household I lived in, my, I only have one roommate and she didn't use the internet and she was also going with majority of the day. So the internet was in my name and I was the only one that used it. So it made sense that I would be the only one paying for it. Um, so there's that. So the electric bill is actually cheaper this month. Um, I believe it's like 90 some dollars, but again, my phone's up here and I didn't write it down. We're going off the budget that I made prior to knowing the cost of some of my bills, um, especially electric. So we're gonna put our budgeted amount, which is $100. And then don't be alarmed at this. My phone bill is $1,000 and it's because of my procrastination and depression that it got to this expen this extent, um, which this should not look like this next month. It should be, um, I mean, it might be, it's, de it's definitely gonna be more than 250 next month, but it won't be a thousand. So <laughs> with that being said, this is the goal to hit this month um, to get my bill down back to what it was. And this again is for me pushing it back and getting extensions and, just being depressed and not be mindful of taking care of my expenses. Um, my car insurance, the budget's $150. Um, and then my car payment, um, we're putting $600 because we're on this payment plan that's helping us get um, down some of our late fees, but also um, just uh, show consistent payments so that I can try to get a... Um, what do you call it? Um, gosh, I can't think. It's, uh, I can't think of what it is, but it's where you go and you, you ask them to like kind of look over your loan again so you can get a lower payment or interest or both. Um, so that's what I'm kind of doing. And again, I'm leaving an extra line just in case for whatever reason, I forgot something I shouldn't have, but it's, I better, I'd rather have it there than it look weird. <laughs> Um, so we're going to do 520.908 plus 214 plus 29.99 plus 100 plus 1000 plus 150 plus 600. Okay, so that equates to... Oh, okay, now I can't have it there. <laughs> I'm trying to have it in frame, but... That wasn't working. So it's going to be $2,411.21. Okay, so that's it for our fixed expenses. My rent is already paid. So I'm going to use this color right here. It's my red. I lost two of the colors in the pack I robbed. And I think they might have been black and red. And then I'm going to use this one as a green one. I feel like the other greens have hints of blue in them. So, I don't want to have it in the blue. I just want it to be green, but it's okay. So, I'm going to go on and check mark this. Um, with the green one, it might not show up green. It might show up, like, seeming a little bit more black than it is. Um, but it's it's a dark forest green. <laughs> and this will be red for things that I end up going over budget with. Okay. I didn't put a room for like where it says budget and actual, um, but that's fine. Um, we're gonna leave those there. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is go to our variable expenses, um, and we're gonna start with, we're gonna start with our giving. Oh no. I'm supposed to write this color. See, I'm already messing up. This is why I do pencil. <laughs> Our giving. Then we're going to go. So, pretty much, we're doing our cash envelopes first. Um, I'm sorry. We're doing giving food, gasoline, household. doing personal 
and then we're doing stationery so any like office things that I want for me so I have an emergency fund here um, because I want to start okay we're gonna put emergency in FU because oh 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 no let's put F in FN <laughs> I didn't like that as it came out of my mouth um, so FN for emergency fund and then we're gonna put loan fees This is in regards to the fact that I've been, um, or right, last month, just to get certain things <laughs> paid, I um, got a payday loan, um, which I'm probably gonna keep getting once a month just to offset things um, as they come. Um, especially because this month I have to pay a thousand here. If I didn't, I probably would have been okay ish <laughs> to not get it or to get a lower amount than what i did but it's fine um and then we're gonna say possible because i use this too but the great thing about possible is that i know this isn't sponsored i wish i could have a sponsorship <laughs> um but the great thing i do like about it is that um they allow me to break up the amount i got into four uh, small installments um, over the course of two weeks each and you can adjust it a little bit to kind of push it out a little bit more but um, that's what I like um, yeah so um, that's where I'm at of course we have um, after that we have subscriptions um, which I'm going to put a total here, but off to the side, I have um, exactly what those are. Um, then we have car maintenance. Am I going to do anything with this? this any? Oh my gosh. Anything with that this month? Not, not that I know of, but <laughs> I am going to, um, I got to keep track of the time and I don't know what time it is. Hold on. Okay. Oh no, I think you're ready to go. What time is it already? 11.33. No. Okay. Um, so we're going to hurry up and finish this. <laughs> um, or I might just pause it once I finish the verbal section and then come back and finish this later. Um, but yeah, so there's my car maintenance. And that's really it in this last lane. It's going to be on budget. Um, of course, that should always be zero, but... You know, and again, I have one extra line just in case something I forgot, something I, I didn't include. I don't know why I keep grabbing this one, but that's just like, um, and then so now we're gonna go with giving. This is the total amount of $4.95 for the month. Um, my subscriptions should be a total of $3 for the month. Car maintenance is zero. I did write a little bit different on the paper I'm on. Oh. So this will be kind of out of order a little bit as far as going down the list, but subscriptions are right here. This is actually how I wanted it to look, but that's not how I wrote it. <laughs> um, and then for food, we're going to do $4.50. Uh, I want to eventually take out eating out, but I also know it needs to kind of be a category because I do hang out with my friends sometime or, you know, do certain more things. So, yeah. <laughs> and then gasoline is $400 a month. Household is 150. Um, personal is 100. Uh, stationery is 50 dollars. Emergency fund this month. I'm just trying to start off and get into the habit of doing it, which I'm gonna start with 10 dollars. The loan fee is 45 dollars. Um, and then, and that's because I'm not including the whole entire loan. This is just what it is because I end up getting that, the other part of this back because I got the loan again. So yeah, anyways, um, and then possible, I put 147 and I think this is the, um, the two, two payments for the month of June. And then I think I have two payments for the month of July. Um, and realistically, it equals the amount with the fee, uh, with the extra fees. The loan fee here is not for possible. So, 
if that makes sense. This is for one I got in person. This is the online one. So yeah. Anyways, so this is it. Unbudgeted should be zero. Um, so now we're going to come over here and calculate. Okay, four ninety five for fifty four hundred plus one fifty plus one hundred plus fifty plus ten plus forty five plus one forty seven oops oh four plus thirty dollars equals I don't know if I like that what happened. Oh no, okay, that's right. Equals $1,877.04. Okay, and this is my my budgeted column, and this will be my actual. So uh, at the end of the month, I will come back and show you guys what my actual looks here, if this changed any, um, and then my totals here as far as these expenses. Again, I am going to keep my income off to myself um, for the time being. Okay. So now let's go to our totals area. Our totals will include income. Oh, I think I know what this line is supposed to be. It's supposed to be debt. Yeah, this line is supposed to be debt. Now we are still gonna put zero here for debt, but it is something I wanna, um, and again, it's only because this is a thousand this month. Um, but it is something I still want to put there. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, okay, so income, fixed. And then EX for expense. Then we have variable. EX for expense. And then I still want to put the word debt here. Because even though it's here, I still want to see it on its own here. If that makes any sense. And then we're going to put totals here. So again, we're going to have our budget section and our fixed section. I mean, our budget and actual section. Um, and I will show my debt. Um, but in another video, I'm going to probably going to back it here. Maybe now I'm not back here. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I have its own section in one of these tabs. But um, I'm going to like list out my debt. I have looked up my debt as far as the cost. I do need to look up like percentages and all those things and create a plan and whatnot. So, but that will be another video. Again, that's also a reset because <laughs> I was having so much trouble with trying to pay them and find extra money to do so. So, there we go. Okay, so for fixed expense, we have 2000 Four hundred eleven dollars. I'm writing it too small. And twenty-one cents. And then we have a thousand eight hundred seventy-seven dollars and four cents. Okay. Oh, I know what is not on here. <laughs> Um, that I actually do need to do this month, which would be an on budget item because I've already did my list. Um, but our goal for this month, or our goals for this month are, but, um, pay the thousand for AT&T. Um, actually end up paying um, 900 for my car note this month. Again, I am a, behind a little because of late fees and whatnot. Again, my own fault, um, but I do want to catch up faster. Um, so yeah, so there's that. And then I want to, 
I did put on here I want to buy my GLC ticket this month. I'm going to do it in July. Um, but what I do want to do this month because I'm actually getting um, my I believe administration degree in our uh, Christian school that we have here um, this December. So, well, that's based off if I pay for my cap and gown in time, um, which is $300. ICCM. Um, and that's kind of it. Okay, you guys, and that is the end of this video. Thank you for watching um, and being here and coming back to join me on my uh, June budget reset. Um, this is pretty much the basic and a bare minimum. Um, I know my food expense might seem pretty high, actually. I mean, $50 of it is for eating out. The $400 is for me. Uh, because of autoimmune disease, I have to eat a certain way, so things tend to get a little more costly. Sadly, here in America, <laughs> eating healthy costs more than eating unhealthy. It's so weird. But um, there's that. Um, hopefully, I can get that cost down once I get in a routine. I have certain stable items and whatnot and not have to buy certain things so often uh, and i also do share a fridge with two other women so i have to be mindful of what i'm putting in there so some things i do have to buy like a little bit more often and whatnot but um that's really it gas i just do a lot of driving so uh i am going to try to for this month really like pay attention to the amount of gas i'm spending I always budget 400 but i don't really even keep track of if i'm actually spending that or not and gas is more expensive so this amount need, probably needs to go higher i don't know we'll see um but there's that and uh i am gonna go <laughs> uh i don't know how to end this um i kind of just sat down and was like we just need to do it uh so i did it um but uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.